Okay, Randy, here is Superhawk number one. Uh, non original exhaust, of course. Uh, looks like some rust on the rims. Does have the flap. Does have the all important seat bolts, both of them. The seat probably needs a color, but the foam looks good and straight. Uh, whoever's calling me is going to have to wait. Um, let's see. Uh, this one does. Uh, this one's just one that's, that's stuck. Uh, does have the cover here. Unbobbed front fender. Uh, nice headlight bucket. It is the old Speedo. Got red tips on the needle still, 16,000 miles. Uh, both side panels look pretty good. They look real straight. They don't have any, seem to have any dents in them. Um, tank, nice and clean inside. You can see silver in there. Uh, does have a key in the key switch. Does have all the old peg rubbers and stuff on them. Um, they, you know, these sat for a long time. I got them from a place where they sat, so I don't know how stuck it is. Probably stuck from sitting, I would assume. Uh, here's the second one. Original unchopped fender. Uh, somebody chrome plated them back in the day. This chrome panel looks real straight and smooth too. This hasn't been cleaned up. They're all real dusty still. Somebody chrome the side covers too. This one does kick over. And uh, good compression. Has the air cover down there. Uh, has the nicest exhaust I've seen in a long time. It's got some surface on it. Maybe one tiny little scuff there to probably clean up. On the other side, I took the liberty of cleaning it up. It was rustier than this on this side. And if you look, it came out really nice. Um, I don't see any dings or dents or anything all the way up. So it looks like it'll be nice. They do have the baffles. This one is missing a little crossbar. Uh, this one has a seat pan with both those nuts again that are hard to find. Um, wrong handlebars, maybe off a scrambler. Um, it's got the oldest Speedo, somebody must turn it back, it says all zero miles, but they put a plastic lens in it so it's the glass is out of it. The other Speedo's got it. A um, little indentation here where the switch is. Headlights the right one looks like. These rims look like they'll clean up. They're just real dusty and dirty so I think between the two bikes you'd have good exhaust and rims off this one. Um, you know, and that one over there. Take the rubbers off the tank. You definitely make a nice bike and have stuff left over. Uh, this one, curiously enough, has a plate where the starter is. Now, I looked at the motor and it is a CB77. So I don't know if they took that off or if that's something early or what, but you'd have a starter off the other one anyhow. And see the collars too are off a CL. So, and these are, but it does say CB on the motor, so should be the right motor. So there's theirs too. Here's the scrambler, um, busted up gauge. Um, fork rubbers look good, missing front fender. It's got snuffer knots in the exhaust. The exhaust don't look too bad. I mean, the guards are good. It's gonna be polished up, you know. I do have a back fender. I either have a one with surface rust on it or a silver one, but I know I have one for sure. And this one does kick over. The tank's been mudded over and everything, but I have the right tank without the seam. This is the earlier style with a small hub and then no, no rubbers on the pegs. This is a tank that the guy sandblasted it and it just resurfaced rusted. He had it in a plastic bag, but there's no dents in it. It's a nice, light, clean main tank you could redo. And then I have another nicer grab bar. And like I said, I have the rear fender and then I have a, a good seat that, you know, slightly misshapen like they do, but as a whole, it's a lot better than most of them. I mean, I've sold that seat for quite a bit in that shape. So, uh, no chain guard. It is, has the, the aluminum one in the middle, though. Oh, so do all the Superhawks. So they have the right chain guard. There's no key in this one. I probably have another side. I know I have at least one side cover for this. I don't know if I have them both or not. But the steering dampener's there. You know, wrong handlebars, but those ones over there might be the right ones. They both actually have crossbar handlebars on those Superhawks. So one of those handlebars might work on here. So that's about it.